off the reservation? <laughs> seventh grade. That's a pretty pivotal time. I remember seventh grade. So he went to school on the reservation, but then he had to go off the reservation in order to get to a strong, like a better school. And that was an all white high school off his reservation. So I'm already thinking about how he might have felt making that decision. And I'm curious, I'm making predictions as to why he might do that. Why might he make that decision? And how might he feel when he's the only person who comes from where he comes from in a place where everyone else comes from the, you know, looks the same. The other thing I'm noticing is where it says he was not firmly at home in either setting. So remember back to our learning target about being othered, to not feel like you belong. That's actually something I can relate to pretty clearly because when I was in high school, I was in all AP classes. But I had already dropped out of high school and you know, had a lot of experiences that the other kids in my AP section hadn't. So I never really felt entirely comfortable there, but I also wanted to go to college, unlike a lot of my other friends. So it was kind of a weird, like I never felt entirely one place or another. So I'm making a personal connection, which is actually a reading strategy that we can use anytime we're uh, confronting a new text. You want to think about what you already know for that text and what you can relate to. All right, so we're going to read first grade. 